I get asked all the time, what is Crossroads? They say, man, I see it everywhere. Football programs, notebooks, ink pen, clothes. I mean, I see it everywhere. And that's a fair question. It's a very good question. It's a, it's more than I can just really answer. Before I can just tell you what Crossroads is, we have to look back at the history to try to understand what is Crossroads. I was just a yard boy. It's a plain old simple guy that cut grass every day. Uh, and I liked it. I enjoyed it. I was, I was good at it. And then I, it's like I heard God call me one day and I knew I was supposed to go into ministry. I got a call from this church and I knew that's what I was supposed to be doing. I was supposed to start working with teenagers. It was a church in Maplesville, Maplesville Baptist. And it was a great church, some of the nicest people I'd ever met, and they were so nice just to, to let me kind of start working with teenagers. I worked in Maplesville for probably two years. Cut grass, worked, had my own apartment, and then something happened. It was a church I was familiar with because it was the place where I grew up. And I told them I had no interest in leaving Maplesville. I loved being there, but First Baptist Thorsby uh, got on my heart and I knew that was what I was supposed to do. So I accepted the call to First Baptist Thorsby. And I was still cutting grass. I'd been at Maplesville, was bivocational, meaning I had two jobs. And then I went to my home church where I had grown up at First Baptist Thorsby. And I loved it there. I knew all the people. I grew up there. And it was great. L loved the students. It was a new experience. In 1997, I got a call. And again, I said, I have no desire to leave where I am. I love being at home. Uh, but this church kept calling. And after the third call, they said, would you at least come listen to us here at West End Baptist? And I said, yeah, I'll come listen. And I had no desire once again to leave, but I knew I was supposed to. So for whatever reason, West End hired this young guy. And I started working with these two guys. And it wasn't long after that till I got to know this group of students. And we were West End Baptist youth. And there was a group of folks that said, hey, we need to take a trip somewhere. And so we all got together and we took a group of students white water rafting in Helen, Georgia. It wasn't long after that trip till this happened. Our first theme, basic training, camouflaged the walls and it was great and things changed. But it wasn't long after that till this happened. And when that happened, things changed as well. I'm getting ahead of myself. I knew God had called me to West End and I knew that I was going to be a youth pastor, but I wanted something something that was just different. I didn't know exactly what different looked like, but I knew I wanted something different. I didn't want the same ministries that I'd had in the other two churches. Not that there was anything wrong with it, but God was working on me and I knew we needed something different. We were West End Baptist youth, but we just, there was something missing. There was just something, we needed something new. We needed a name, an identity. And that was when our search really began on where God was leading us. Nobody had youth group names. You were named after your church. The only thing we had to go by were conferences. And every conference wanted you to believe it was something amazing, something special. Their conferences were things like TNT, Mega, and Fuego. Super cool. It, it just it didn't work. One Saturday morning, I'm cleaning my apartment. And when I cleaned the apartment, of course, I had the music blasting. And as the music was blasting, I just kept, there was this group. And I kept listening to the same song over and over again. And, and the group was probably not the best group, but they were Bone Thugs and Harmony. And they just kept saying this word over and over and over again. And I just couldn't get past it. And so I stopped cleaning and I just started listening. Crossroads. I just kept hearing Crossroads. And it's like the light went off in my head and I knew that we were going to be Crossroads. I went and got my Bible and I started looking through scripture, something that would maybe speak of crossroads. God showed me the scripture. 
And that's how Crossroads began. But there was something kind of missing. I thought we needed something to identify ourselves, and so I wanted to have a logo. We were a crossroads, so we needed a cross with a road. I didn't really know exactly what to do with that. But fortunately, a man named John, he was very creative, and he's one of the ones that called me here. He said, hey, I can work something up for you. And the Crossroads logo began. The logos changed throughout the years. We started out with one, then it changed to something else, and Master Chief became part of it because it was a cool video game going on at the time, and he even came and had Christmas with us. Uh, but then, you know, God started working in me and changing things in me, and so we came to the logo that you see today. And then there are t-shirts. T-shirts. Don't, uh, so many t-shirts. Crossroads is something that's been 20 plus years in the making and it's changing every day. New faces coming in all the time. The ministry is evolving even as we speak. New faces right here, right now, and we're excited about that. But at the same time, we've got those memories. Oh, hey May. We've got those memories and memories is part of what Crossroads is. So that's Crossroads. Well, it's it's kind of crossroads. Crossroads is more than we can actually put into words. Uh, it's a, it's part of who you are. And it's not just 7th through 12th grade. This is something that carries with you throughout the rest of your life. And so we're excited that, that God has blessed us with this ministry. We're encouraged when we see other ministries doing what we do because that helps us feel like we're doing the right thing. Uh, but most importantly, we're excited that God is the number one thing in this ministry. This is Crossroads.